Okay, what I'm going to do here is show you some things that will become handy when you have to do your assignments. And it wouldn't hurt to write these guys down. Now, up here, and I have six different elements that when they are standing alone in a chemical equation, they have to look like this. N2, O2, F2, Cl2, Br2, and I2. The thing about bromium or bromine is it's a liquid and iodine is a solid, but it exists in the diatomic state. Right. So these two, these six, have to be written this way. So if you have an equation that says sodium plus oxygen, it has to be O2. So if it says sodium plus oxygen, it has to look like this. All right. Now the other thing we did way back. Um, you have to know charges, and that's where your periodic table is going to come into account here. I'm going to give you something tomorrow that may help. Um, in order to finish this, we're going to have we're creating a synthesis reaction. And so, what's the charge on sodium? It's in the first column on the left. Plus one. What is the charge on just a plain old oxygen? Minus two. All right. So, how many um, sodiums do we need to balance with one oxygen? Two. Two. So, what this is going to look like in the end is N A uh oh two oh Oops, ran off the here. I'll put it right here. N A two O. All right. Now, that's not balanced, is it? Uh -huh. But, so, how many oxygens? Two. Two. So, what do we got to do over here? Two. Two. Now, how many sodiums does that give us? Four. 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 So, what do we got to do over here? Four. Four. What All if right. the charge just changed so it would be equal? Well, that's the thing, is we need to, to... Haley asked when the charge changed, but we need actually two of these guys to balance with one of these guys every time. So we always got to get to zero. Remember that. Everything's got to be at zero. So when you're writing things and it come across and it says chlorine or bromine or oxygen, it has to be written this way. Or if you break something up, and let me give you an example of that. Um, <coughs> everybody good on this? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to erase this. And water. H2O. We're decomposing it so it breaks up into two things. What and what? What two elements does it break up? Hydrogen and hydrogen and gas. So it gets an H2. That's the one I forgot. And O2. Now, um, you said put a 2 in front of the H over here, Jocelyn did, 2 over here, and we're balanced. So that's a decomposition reaction. You break up something, and I'll do a second one here. Let's just take hydrochloric acid. It breaks up. H2 plus, and what do we say we had to write Cl as? Cl2. So now, this is a pretty simple balance. Just put a 2 on the hydrochloric acid. So remember, when you're breaking something up that turns into hydrogen or chlorine or oxygen, you got to put the 2. All right? Now, 
Um, the next thing, when you break them up, all right, you have to add have hydrogen, chlorine, oxygen, fluorine, nitrogen, all of them, bromine, and iodine have to have H2 when they're by themselves. And the next one I want to do is a single replacement reaction. And this is, again, single and double replacements are when charges are going to come in handy. All right. So let me pick one here. Um, okay. Let's take let's take aluminum plus nickel sulfate. All right. I shouldn't have wrote that this big. What I'm going to do is finish it down here. <laughs> Now, <laughs> aluminum. <laughs> you might need your periodic table out. Aluminum, nickel, and SO4. I need to know the charges on each one of those. A-L-2. I'll help you out. Well, this blue doesn't show up unless it's dark. Yeah, but I can't see what I write now. The door behind you. Yeah. Prop it open. <coughs> it's a big bucket. No. Keep going. Keep opening. Now, nickel. Now, SO4 is on the back of your chart, so minus two. And if we have one SO4 here and one nickel, what's the charge got to be on nickel? Two. 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 Now. We are going to change this is single replacement. The aluminum is going to come out and kick out the, the nickel. So what we're going to end up with is nickel over here by itself. And we're going to end up with aluminum sulfate. Now, I'm not putting in the sub subscripts for on purpose. Remember, this is the crossover rule plus 3 minus 2, they become the subscripts on the opposite thing. So the subscript on the aluminum should be 2, and this should be 3, because 2 times 3 is minus 6, 3 times 2 is plus 6. Now, we have to balance it. Let's do the aluminum, they're easy. Put a 2 in front of it. Now let's do the sulfates. Got three here, one here, so big three. See, you guys are getting this now. You can do it without. So you just kind of look. What do I got to do here? What do I got to do there? All right. And then we got one more type I want to do is double replacement. Basically, they just switch around. And I'll show you that here real quick. Um, Like I said, this will all be online. Everybody got it written down that wants it written down? Because <laughs> there's not two more yet. Okay. Now we have, we're almost done. Mg NO3 2 plus. KOH. Now, what's going to happen here is the front of this one is going to match up with the back of this one, which is the OH. The front of this one is going to match up with this. So, we have to know the charge on potassium, magnesium, NO3, and OH. Now, potassium is first column, so its charge is? Oh, one. Plus one. Now, look at this. 
if this is plus 1 and we have a 108, we might split it. So the charge on this has to be minus 1. Yep. And magnesium is in the second column. It's going to be plus 2. Now, there's two NO3s over here, so the charge on each NO3 is minus 1. Now, we're flipping things around. These two are going to go together, and these two are going to go together. So, KNO3, do we need to do anything, or can we just stick them together? <laughs> because their charges are equal and opposite. So, KNO3. No, no, you can go MG first. MgOH2, Riley says, and he's correct. Hopefully I can get it in here. OH, front C, 2. Ah, didn't do it. Okay. Now, that's blue, it's horrible. <laughs> now, look here, because we have to have two OHs to balance with the Oh, oh, yeah. Now, we have <laughs> two NO3s on this side, so what do we got to do over here? <laughs> Put a two. Now, we have two K, so put a two. Now, two OHs, two OHs, one MG, one MG, and we're done. So you have to know your charges, and that's where your dark orange periodic table comes in to help. A pretty straight line. Now, whoops. so I'm going to give you a quick assignment. The other class has the same amount of time to do it. Yep, I'm going to kick the lights back on. Yep. Yeah.